Hello viewers on YouTube. Some days ago, I did this project. This was a normal motor like this one, but it was overheated, this one. So what I did, I rewinded it with this wire. This wire is uh, 0 0.5 millimeters. I double these wires, same to this side. 0.5 mm but the wire is doubled but because that time I was not powering something big so I separated them doing it like uh, I mean connecting it like maybe we're using single wire okay so there's 250 turns 250 turns when the wires are double here after I because the wires were like this, the end, then I connected these ones, making it like there's a 500 turns, this one, with a single wire, double wire, 250. Same thing to this side, double wires, 250, single, 500. Okay, so I connected it in series. So this was 300 watts. In similar to this one the original wire used was like this so this is 1 mm 1 millimeters so in previous video I was just using the rope to test it but this time I'm going to connect the DC motor to spin it so we can see if we can be able to power this another 300 watts okay so before i connect to this one i want you to see how it spins with a rope when i spin this with a rope all right rope is ready just one time let's see how this spins like see that that happens or that speed when I'm using the rope so let's see if we can go faster than that speed when we're using here the DC motor to spin this okay I hope it's gonna hold okay I'm done for the connection as you can see there right so let's start our testing hundred two hundred let's start with two hundred watts and see how much light we can get from these guys. Okay. You can see all wires, not coming from anywhere else. See, here's the other wire coming from here and here's another one All right now it's gonna be some vibration Now let's see the voltage we are getting after powering 200 watts. Okay, so you let's come here like this. Uh oh. Yeah, I hope you're gonna see the numbers. On off first. Ready? 
Okay, about 100 something, and something here is coming out. I don't know what it is. Okay, sorted. So, okay, so that's these 200 watts. So, let's go back to our motor. Let's try to see the speed that we can get Ooh. from this motor, 300 watts, as the brother of this guy. Right, so blue, this side, red, uh, brown to this right. Okay, let's see the speed. And uh, don't forget the the voltage drop. Even though our battery is going down, but we have to see. Let's see the speed of our motor. Yeah, you can see here. Right, 250, double check, double check, we are fine. Right, so we have come from far, as I said that this is the last, there was a first video when I was explaining about how I rewinded this motor. So from there, that's where you can see all the arrangements, everything else, the magnets we used. This one, I was just finishing it running using this uh, DC motor and see how many things or the speed of this if we can spin it like that because that day I was using the rope just to pull right there so you know when you're pulling with a rope you only like starting it like that okay so what I wanted to see is this This is the voltage from the battery. That means we're not losing so many power in the battery. That's all what I wanted to see properly, this thing spinning. In a, well, it's not a maximum speed, but this is speed, you can do something with it. Anyway, let me stop right here. Thanks for watching. Please, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. And please go back and check where you're going to see this motor. It's not yellow here. It's going to show like this color right here. Watch it from there so you can learn how I did all the windings. Okay, and uh, the magnet arrangement. Then you can come back to this video, finish, check up all the test like how I did. Thanks for watching.